Good morning, Tropic Lightning. I'm Brigadier General Dave Zinn, Lightning 8, and I'm joined with the Division Command Sergeant Major Rob Haney, Lightning 7. These are the morning announcements for February 9th, 2024. This week is an important week in the history of the division. On this week in 1943, Japanese resistance was declared ended in the famous Battle of Guadalcanal in World War II. Guadalcanal, of course, is where the division earned its nickname, Tropic Lightning. Also, this week in World War II, in 1945, Master Sergeant Charles Magaha, Golf Company, 35th Infantry Re Regiment, was recognized for conspicuous gallantry and risk of life above and beyond the call of duty for actions in Lupau, Luzon in the Philippines. Master Sergeant Magaha was in a platoon that found itself pinned down by heavy enemy fire. When a soldier was wounded forward, Master Sergeant Magaha ran forward and recovered that soldier back to safety, but was wounded in the process. When he returned, he saw that his platoon leader had been wounded. He immediately took leadership of the platoon and rallied his soldiers. When another soldier was wounded, again, under hostile fire, a litter team ran forward to recover that soldier. Sergeant Magaha joined that litter team. Tragically, an enemy shell struck, killing two soldiers and wounding Sergeant Magaha again. He again recovered that soldier back to safety. Recognizing the heavy fire from the enemy, Sergeant Magaha placed himself in front of his soldiers, drew enemy fire, enabled all of his soldiers to withdraw to a safer position, and after all were complete, then he rejoined his soldiers and collapsed from a combination of exhaustion and loss of blood. Sergeant Makaha survived and continued to serve in the Army after those heroic actions. Also this week in 1951, Captain Lewis Millett, commander of Echo Company, the 27th Infantry Regiment, demonstrated conspicuous gallantry and risk of life above and beyond the call of duty for actions near Nam Si, Korea. Captain Lewis Millett led his company up a hill against an entrenched enemy force. And when the lead platoon became pinned down, Captain Millett moved to the front of the formation. He brought a second platoon forward online. He ordered bayonets to be fixed, and then he personally led that formation up the hill. That fighting became hand-to-hand -hand combat. Captain Millett bayoneted two soldiers. He was wounded by shrapnel in the process. The enemy soldiers, when they saw that aggressive action, they broke and they ran, and then the wounded Captain Millett refused to be evacuated until the company consolidated in positions on top of the hill, um, and, and only then did Captain Millett allow himself to be evacuated. Today, we honor Master Sergeant Charles Magaha and Captain Lewis Millett, Medal of Honor winners from the 25th Infantry Division. Those are some pretty amazing uh, acts of heroism. Um, having visited uh, over in the Solomon Islands uh, two years ago, that fighting over there at Guadalcanal was absolutely uh, treacherous terrain. And, uh, you know, hearing about uh, the fights over there in Luzon and over in Korea, uh, that terrain is also uh, just as treacherous. And uh, those are pretty, pretty, pretty amazing acts of heroism. It really re reinforces why we, uh, we need to train and fight in this environment out here in the jungle uh, and be prepared for those type of things. This week is also an important week here on Hawaii with several events I'd like to update you on. The Division Artillery Brigade completed their Best Buy competition, recognizing the best artillery crews. Soldiers from not just the 25th Infantry Division, but also JBLM and our partners in Australia participated in this training. Great job by all who participated, all who supported, and of course, congratulations to the winners. Also this week, live fire training continued both here on Oahu and also on the Pokaloa training area on the Big Island, focused on building warfighting readiness and on preparing for Operation Pathways that occurs later this calendar year. Yeah, the Devardi uh, had some awesome missions this week, shot a lot of rounds, as everybody could hear, uh, and uh, they were uh, doing some pretty, pretty uh, exciting stuff out there. Um, Having been out to uh, Jungle Med this week, uh, we had almost 210 uh, soldiers, shoot, Marines, sailors, uh, airmen, 
and soft horses from across the whole joint community here uh, going through a two-week uh, training event on jungle medication or jungle med and um, medical evacuation in in this environment a pretty amazing training uh, it was awesome to see our young soldiers getting their hands on uh, all of that out there uh, I would also like to highlight, uh, we did uh, Sergeant Audie Murphy induction ceremony uh, yesterday. Uh, Sergeant First Class Mathis and Staff Sergeant Downing uh, are our new, two newest uh, Sergeant Audie Murphy members. Uh, I'm really excited about how our club keeps growing, uh, the participation in the community and across U.S. Army Hawaii. And uh, our next board is going to be in March. So if you're at all interested, uh, please come forward and uh, contact Sergeant First Class Crump, she's the president, or any other Audie Murphy member uh, throughout your formations. Congratulations to all of our recent graduates of Jungle Med and to Sergeant Mathis and Sergeant Downing. Uh, finally, a, an important event to many in the community occurs this weekend, Super Bowl Sunday. And the USO will hold a watch party beginning at noon and running through the end of the game with food, with activities. Should be an enjoyable time for all. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the day off on Monday the 12th. To all in the community, thank you for making this an outstanding week. And best wishes for an enjoyable weekend. Tropic Lightning. Strike hard.